Well, you may have uh, noticed, uh, may not have noticed, in fact, that Google changed their privacy policy on March 1st of this week. The Internet giant now able to track your online activity more closely than ever. So is the Internet becoming too intrusive, and is there any way to really protect your online privacy? Joining me now, digital forensic analyst with Data Clone Labs, Ira Victor, and founder of Internet privacy company SSP Blue, uh, hey, Munigam, and uh, Ira, let's start with you. What, what's your take on the change that Google, they've been advertising it for some time. Every time you sign on to Google, it says our policy's changing. Uh, learn more. This is really important stuff. So how important is it? It's, well, if you value the, the privacy of your information and what you do in your life, and you want to be in control of who has your information and how you live your life, it's pretty important. I mean, Google wants to be everywhere in your life. At your office, at work, they want to know what you do. They want to know what you do when you go home, on your computer, or on your Google TV. They want to know what electricity you use with, their, with that electricity system monitoring that they have. They even wanted to know your health care records, where, what you did with your health. And now they want you to know when you, when you, leave, your, when you leave in your smartphone or even now a self-driving car. In my state in Nevada, they actually have now legalized a test for self-driving Google cars. And Google doesn't want to be in the automobile business. They want to be with you wherever you go, even when you're not on the smartphone, when you're not on the computer, when you're not on TV, when you're in your car. So Good. they want so, total so, so, situational so, awareness on you. So Google will know where I want to go, and they'll drive me like a chauffeur around, uh, around the world. Hey, Boo, listen, we just finished a segment talking about yeah. the fact that they've been doing this offline for a long time. Companies have been checking out what you buy, your buying habits, all of that. Our privacy is basically, Visa knows more about you than your spouse probably. Actually, let's put this in perspective. Consumers have to, what I call, own your own privacy. What Google is doing is, in essence, no different than what Apple, Microsoft, Yahoo, Facebook, all of the major companies out there already do it. What they're doing is they're saying, we have 60 different products. When you come to us, we're going to treat you like one customer. And if you think about it, I, I called my provider the other day. I had a problem with my cell carrier, and I wanted to ask about the Internet side, and I also have them as my, as my cable. And, I was think, and they didn't know who I was in the other ones, and I was getting frustrated. Hey, I'm one customer. Why don't you know who I am? So in many ways, these companies are saying, we're going to treat you as one. Yes, absolutely, that will help them with their advertisers, and that will, in essence, do another thing that, as consumers, whether we know it or we, or we don't, We've actually been demanding, and that is this. When you go to your mailbox, you open it up, and there's all this junk mail, and you're like, why am I getting all this junk mail? At the end of the day, what Google is saying is, okay, fine. We don't like junk mail in the real world. We don't like it online. Let's try to find ways to give you ads you care about. So, for example, if you're a single male looking for a date, you're not going to get diaper ads anymore. And that's the kind of thing that's going to that's okay. change in terms of your Google experience. All right. I read the other day, uh, I saw something online that you had written. And in there, you had a link to a place where it stepped me through the process of basically shutting off Google so I could really ramp up my privacy. So I went through the whole process thinking, this is probably going to cause problems somewhere. And sure enough, I set everything up the way the article said. And I went somewhere and it worked fine. I went someplace else that worked fine. I went to Amazon and it said, Tilt, we won't let you in because you're not letting us see your, uh, we're, not letting, we're not allowed to put cookies on your, on your computer. So I, it, it may be nice to have the privacy, but is it practical? It, well, it, as the saying goes, it depends. So there is a way to actually uh, fine tune that uh, turning off cookies may not always be good. You can fine tune it. There's a tool called Ghostry. It's a free tool. Uh, it works in a lot of browsers, although best in Firefox, and it allows you to, to fine tune that. So you can use sites like Amazon and it will recognize you, but these third party trackers and the profiling gets turned off. So a little bit of, I'll, I'll come on over there, Tom, and I'll fine tune your, your <laughs> devices so you can, you can have your privacy and, and give the information to those that you choose to give it to when you want to give it to them, and you can be in better control. Hey, Wu, yeah, this, uh, this, this whole business, like you said, we've, we've been doing this for a long time. People know who we are. Uh, what is it that they will be able to 
do with this other than sell ads that are more directed? Is there something else that I should be worried about? Well, I think at the end of the day, Google's revenue is really all about advertisers. And the better ads, the better customer they can give to an advertiser that says, we know X, Y, Z, and A, B, C about a customer, that's an advertiser's willing to pay more. So at the end of the day, this is about advertisement, number one. Number two, it's also about the fact that consumers truly are getting frustrated with a lot of the stuff that they see online. They don't like it. They want things that are customized. They're demanding it. They want simplification. And, and to put it in perspective, privacy is about three simple things. Transparency, choice, and control. Are you telling the customer what you're doing with their information? And Google actually started doing this about six weeks ago. Are you giving them some sort of choice? Can you turn some things on? Can you turn them off? And then are you giving them a control over what they're doing? So if you really focus on it, you have to, as a customer, consider this a wake-up call if you haven't already had one, and say to, my, to say to yourself out there, hey, I have to own my own privacy. It's time for me to stop blaming somebody else. And the reality yeah. is, the second piece, does it really matter? I found a cool little uh, way of, of checking on this. I went to uh, google.com slash dashboard. And it has right. everything there about what they know about me. And I thought that was kind of helpful to decide what you know, I wanted to turn on and turn off. But Ira, Victor, and Hayden Winnigam, gentlemen, thank you both for your expertise. Appreciate it.